This program contains coarse language, mature themes, and the strong opinions of Dan Savage. Viewer discretion is advised. I'm Dan Savage. I'm the true defender of marriage, and I am about to stick up for an anti-gay, adulterous Republican governor. I think a marriage is more important and perhaps something more valuable than sexual exclusivity flawlessly executed over many decades. Maybe you've heard of Arnold Schwarzenegger, movie star, governor of California for a little while, uh, cheater of on Maria Shriver. Or rumor has it, it's bubbling up through the blogs, that they may get back together. And people are freaking out about this because, oh, Maria shouldn't get back together with Arnold because he's a cat and a womanizer. You tell a story about uh, meeting her mother at this event. Do you remember what you said to her about Maria? I said, your daughter has a great ass. <laughs> and, and I think people don't really realize what attracts a woman like Maria Shriver to a guy like Arnold Schwarzenegger in the first place. They think they can change them. They think, for me, he'll settle down. My ass is enough. All the other asses in all the world that he's had before weren't enough for him, but my ass is so spectacular that once he's got access to mine, he will want no other asses. This is always not true. Right? As everyone always discovers in the end, always not true. Someone who likes a lot of ass will always like a lot of ass. The same thing is kind of played out in Katy Perry's divorce. She married Russell Brandt, who was a bad boy and a drug user and a womanizer. Why would she marry him if monogamy and faithfulness was so important to her? Why didn't she marry a nice guy who didn't use drugs and go through pussy like the dumpster behind a vet's office, right? Maria chose Arnold. Katy Perry chose Russell Brandt. They knew who they were going in. They either thought they could change them, or the womanizing and the cattishness and the bad boy thing was attractive. I, I think it's better that Maria get back up together with Arnold. If she could admit that part of what I like about him is that he's into ass, he's into a lot of ass, and he's a womanizer. Part of what draws me to him is his appetite for pussy. And mine is maybe not enough, but it's mostly enough. Right? Mine is the one he chooses to have regular access to. Yours he might fuck around with every once in a while, just cause. But I'm the ass he married. We tell people who've been cheated on that they have to get divorced. People were angry at Hillary in the wake, the immediate wake of the Monica Lewinsky scandal, that she didn't leave Bill right away, that she should divorce him. She had no other choice. Why? Why couldn't she make another choice? No one says that to Hillary now. We all recognize now that Hillary did the right thing. I am trying to save and conserve marriages by encouraging people to be realistic about cheating. Not that it isn't a betrayal if you have a monogamous commitment and your partner cheats on you, but it is almost inevitable that in every long-term, multi-decade marriage, one or the other or both partners will cheat. And then what? And what we say now is, well, then divorce. Why not then Bill and Hillary? Why not then the Spitzers? Why not then Maria and Arnold if they can work it out? Why can't that be our model? Don't just sit there, send your videos, comments, and questions, and be sure to subscribe. Do you know what the human male penis looks like and how it functions in the vaginal canal? As a plunger. <laughs>